I'm Timothy. I was born and raised in Hong Kong. Uh, I went to study abroad for university in LA and I was like, nope, I need the MTR. I run uh, an LGBT magazine in Hong Kong. My name is John. I'm originally from Venezuela. I'm also the lead singer of Indigo Town and I'm his husband. So we met on Facebook. You know how when Facebook always so just like, oh, you may know this person. So I guess I came up, he saw that, liked what he saw. He likes to say I was stalking him on Facebook, but... Yeah, it was. That's a technicality. He was in Guangzhou, I was in Hong Kong. We just started yeah. chatting. We tried to meet a couple times because he would come and visit his friends here. And I would be like, yeah, totally, let's meet up. But then... Then he stood I would... me up four times. <laughs> and then when we did finally meet, it was really just... Like, it felt so right instantly. Yeah. And that was it. From that day on, it was just like, it never felt forced, it never felt like um, we're trying to prove anything. Yeah. It just felt very comfortable, very organic. I moved to Hong Kong from Guangzhou, and I realized rent here is really expensive. Yeah, so, like, that was like a Hong Kong move, like, hey, do you want to be roommates, but we're in love <laughs> and share rent? <laughs> I grew up in a Christian family, like my whole life went to Christian school, even Christian university. So born, raised, maybe brainwashed in it. They love John and I. They do wish, um, they wish that we weren't gay, I guess, or they wish that we were maybe had like a closer walk with God so that we wouldn't be gay. I grew up in a Mormon family. So the Christian background is very similar as well. That means like if I want someone like our parents to love us and accept us and respect us, then my job initially has to be also to love them and respect them and accept them for who they are. I think they show us that they love us and yeah. we try to show them a really good example of gay love. This is in June 2013, you said, are you the man am I going to marry? Have I found you or is that too much pressure? Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Look at us now. I know, five, five years, years later. later. We were in Vegas for work and we're like, well, it doesn't get any more romantic than getting married <laughs> in Vegas. We couldn't afford Elvis, because Elvis is like 400 US. It was like, yeah, Elvis, come on. They were like, you have exactly 15 minutes. It's more like yeah, 11 minutes. plenty of time to get married, honestly. In a weird way, having family that didn't necessarily support it meant that we did it for ourselves. To me, loving someone is an action. It's actually a verb, because you know, ultimately, anything that's good for them is good for you as well. This relationship has taught me a lot about love. It's taught me that I deserve it and I'm also capable of giving a beautiful love to someone. I think one of the things that I struggled growing up was like feeling misunderstood sometimes and having someone like him that accepts me and loves me at my silliest is, is the greatest gift. Uh, home, let me go home. Home is whenever I'm with you. Nice! Thank you. Love it. <laughs>